Hello everyone, what's up and welcome once again to my channel. It's Ali here with another video for you guys. If you are new to my channel, then please go ahead and take a second to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. And if you've been rocking with me since day one, welcome on back. So it has been quite some time since my last upload but today I just really wanted to get a video out and wanted to film a video. So I know that I've been really in and out on my YouTube channel just with work and then COVID and quarantine. So it's been a lot in the last uh, couple of weeks, but a girl is just finding her groove again and I am just finding the groove of content creating once again so today i wanted to give you guys a peek into my friday night skincare routines this has been something that i've been doing um so far consistently for the last couple of weeks so every friday i tend to um just the extra steps in my skincare which consists of masks and exfoliation and making sure that my skin is at its healthiest so giving you guys a close-up right now um, with the usage of masks so sometimes I tend to get like little just light breakouts or stress bumps so I know this morning I was a bit stressed but for the most part usually when it's hot and I'm wearing my mask I do tend to get these uh, slight bumps along my chin so we're going to remedy that so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video so the first thing that I'm going to be applying is my ACV and bentonite clay mask which I just have mixed up in a mason jar um, I usually keep it in the fridge in order to store it if you're wondering what I use to cleanse my skin I always go in with my acne.org cleanser I've been using this consistently for the past three years now and it is just my go-to cleanser in order to get rid of any minimal breakouts or just any recurring breakout so if you're like me and you only break out during your menstrual cycle this would be a really good option for you because it really just helps keep any um, acne at bay so I'm gonna go in with my mask of choice in order to help treat these stubborn little uh, bumps that I have here and apply this all over my face. All right, so this is the mask completely on and it's already um, starting to just tighten on my skin as is, as is. So I usually leave this on my skin for at least five to 10 minutes just because it's really um, potent. And I can usually tell that it's ready to wash off once it's completely dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry off, do whatever else I need to do before I go in with the rest of my skincare. So I'll be right back. Okay, so if you've ever used <laughs> an ACV mask, you know that once it gets like this, it's really like just hard to the touch. And then I have the cracks along the nose. So it's time to wash it off. <laughs> Alrighty, so once I've rinsed all of that mask off, I'm gonna go in with a paper towel. And I usually don't do this, but for the sake of the video, I am gonna go in with the paper towel plus it's the closest thing to me right now usually I just use like my towel or any clean towel that I have but dry this off here is the skin dry after the facial mask and you can just see how <laughs> the mask kind of just sucked the life out of my skin and detoxed the hell out of it. So it's extra clean right now. So the next step in my Friday night skincare 
on this little tray which i keep in my bathroom i have everything that i use both morning and night if you're wondering i purchased the tray over at target for like 12 bucks so ugh. okay so the next product that i'm going to use and apply to a cotton round is going to be my thayer's witch hazel uh facial toner and this is the uh rose petal one now i don't normally use focus there we go so this is the one i'm going to be applying i don't normally use this one all the time i usually actually um purchase the coco kind excuse me the coco kind rose water that one's really good but this is just a great alternative when i don't have that on hand so y'all already know how to use toner i just go in on a cotton round and i tone my face can see see this is why you should tone because no matter what you go on your skin with she is never really 100% clean so an extra step that I add into my skincare routine um, at least twice out the week is a liquid exfoliator so I'm gonna be using Paula's Choice uh, BHA liquid exfoliant and if you aren't familiar with a BHA a BHA is short for beta hydroxy acids this is what's going to help get deeper into your pores and actually go into your pores and get rid of the gunk versus a physical exfoliant which is just uh, scrubbing the surface and at most times it tends to irritate the skin more than it does actually cleanse it so I've noticed a huge difference since using this I actually got this uh, if I'm not mistaken towards the end of last year um, and I don't use it very often just twice out the week or whenever my skin has um, just kind of like a gritty texture or I'm experiencing what I'm experiencing today which is just those uh, stress bumps so i go in with a bit of this you do not need a lot because this stuff um not that it's strong but it's just you feel it working so you don't need much so i'm just taking a dab of that on a cotton round and i'm just spreading this all over my skin Okay, so once I've done both my toner as well as my liquid exfoliant, the next step in my routine is to now treat my skin and I usually go in with just a smidget of some benzoyl peroxide. This is the 10% concentration and I always get this one at CVS. This is their CVS uh, brand and it costs just the same as the um, clean and clear. Um, what's the other one I've used in the past? Zap Zit is also really good. They're all ranging within $6, the Up and Up brand from Target. So I just apply that on my problem areas, which is usually just my cheeks and the bridge of my nose. I don't really apply it too much on my forehead because I rarely get breakouts on my forehead unless like I've eaten something crazy or I drank soda. That's the only time you'll really see me go over my forehead. But for the most part, it's always just my cheeks, my nose, and here on like my chin area. All right, so we're reaching the end of the race. Next up, I'm going in with some rosehip oil. If you guys have used rosehip oil at any point in your life, then you know that this stuff is just bomb.com. 
um, it's super hydrating it's packed with a ton of fatty acids and it's really great for anyone who suffers with hyperpigmentation as long as you're using um, as long as you're using it consistently then you will see a difference in your skin and it just sinks really well into the skin as well so I always get the 365 brand you can pick this up over at Whole Foods and it retails for $10 and I just go on my forehead and my cheeks All right, y'all, so once I'm done with all of my skincare steps, this is what my skin looks like at the end of my routine. I have a really healthy glow. My skin is bouncy and just really, um, just really supple and, and soft to the touch, which I absolutely love. So the only difference every morning is that I apply an SPF so right now my SPF of choice is black girl sunscreen you can pick this up over at Target it has an SPF of 30 and it's infused with jojoba as well as avocado oil and this stuff right here is bomb.com it is one of my new favorite sunscreens. I use it consistently every morning especially if I know that I've um, done in liquid exfoliation because usually whenever you do a liquid exfoliation your skin is way more sensitive to sunlight and it can regress your hyperpigmentation so that is what we do not want so yeah this is my skin this is actually uh, my skin now with almost five months of just consistent um, use as well as not wearing makeup for the last four months due to COVID and having to wear masks so I just decided to um, toss the makeup in the meantime and just wear my mask and I'm also like a lot more comfortable that way too so my skin tends to or not tends to but it just cleared up a lot faster um, once I stopped wearing makeup is what I noticed but a girl still love a nice beat so I just do my makeup whenever I like go out or I have to do an Instagram shoot or just content shoot so on and so forth but being that this video is all about skincare so I wanted to show y'all what my Friday nights look like so yeah I hope you guys all enjoyed this video I will link all of the products that I've used down below in the description box with links attached that way, if you are interested in trying any of these products, you can go ahead and do so for yourself. Please feel free to let me know what you thought of this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!